Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Oh! Your New Year's resolution for 2018 is to not talk while Anushka's feeling is filming. Okay? Hey guys, welcome back to my first video of the year. Um, and I thought it would be a good idea to show you guys my favourite products of 2017. Gosh, I couldn't find my words there. But um, I, I've seen that some people have been doing like high inversion and drugstore version. But I'm just going to just show you guys everything that I have been loving. And that really changed my makeup game. And that I can't live without basically. Okay, so the first thing that I absolutely loved since I discovered it. And it launched not long ago actually. I think it was the middle of the year or summertime or something like that. But anyways, it definitely changed my makeup game. My skin, my base. It's just, It was just... It, and plus it was so quick, it came out so quick and it's the Fenty Beauty foundation and primer now I love most of her products, like her gloss is always in my coat pocket the gloss bomb, I love that gloss, I think I should have it in this video but I can't bother to get it but it's so good, it's so good and what else do I love, I love her matchsticks but the ones that I really really love and I don't think I could live without is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Foundation and the Pro Filter Primer. As you guys can tell, I love this so much I dropped it and broke the knob so now I have to twist it to get it out like... Twist it and it comes out like that. But yeah, I'm up to here now. I've used so much of the primer, I love it so much. I was guilty of letting myself shine too much, you know? Shine. Because I love, love dewy skin. I have dry skin so I kind of wish that my skin was oily um, but I just I'm just guilty of having it too oily I look like I was a grease ball so this kind of helps that me to keep that balanced and not look so shiny and keep the center of my face matte and it just helps my foundation stay on so nice so smooth and every time I wear this combination I always get com compliments on my skin so I always love that so yeah I definitely recommend these two I love this stuff I love it. Rihanna did so good. And there were some haters out there, you know, coming after her. Hmm. You know who you are. And by the way, I am in the shade 330. If you want to see my um, makeup tutorials and my first impressions on these, then I'll link them in the info box. Okay, so the next thing that I would, I would recommend this product to anyone. You hear me? Anyone. And it's the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. Guys. I just, it's just in all my tutorials, I just don't even know what else to say, you know. I'm in the shade Tan Sand, this is like a backup for me because I can't live without this stuff. I have three, I think I have two tubes upstairs and this is my backup. Um, I found the one that I thought my sister stole by the way, so I take that back from what I said in my previous tutorials. If you watch my videos, you know what I'm talking about. Um, she didn't steal it, well she did put it back, I managed to get it back so it's just that I misplaced it, I misplaced it. And it's not that expensive, I don't think it's expensive, it's around like $20 I think. And yeah, guys, if you haven't tried this, just try it and then you'll thank me later. This product had to be in my, like, favourites of 2017, like these two palettes, eyeshadow palettes are just so good and by far my favourite formula, my favourite palettes if I want to get artistic -y. If that's even a word. Artistic key? Artistic key? If I want to get creative and even if like for every day, these palettes are so good. They're so good. Every day I really like to reach for my Huda Beauty Rose Gold palette. But still, you still have some really nice shades to go or artsy on it. And then the Desert Dust palette, I think she really revamped the packaging. Like this one feels much heavier, much more sturdy. And you also have a mirror with the Desert Dust. So the fact I really I actually really appreciate the fact that she listens to her fans because obviously people weren't happy that the packaging was a bit cheap and that there was no mirror but yeah I she definitely listened and this just this palette is just so good the shimmery powders are so buttery and creamy and I just it's just so good guys it is on the pricier side but I think it's so worth the money the color payoff is just perfection so I absolutely love these. I'm a huge fan of Huda Beauty, as you guys know, but nevertheless, that doesn't change anything. Like, if a product is good, I will tell you, um, and this stuff is so, so good. I love these. I can't live without these palettes. I really can't. The next thing is also from Huda Beauty, and it's the Liquid Matte. 
Um, this is in the shade Girlfriend because I wanted to talk about Girlfriend because this shade is the one that I always bring out with me. Like, I'm starting to see blank spots in it. I've never ran out of a liquid lipstick, I don't think. And I feel like I'm running out of this one. This colour is just like the perfect nude. Um, and it stays on. I feel so comfortable wearing it. It's the one I go to all the time if I want to wear something on my lips but I don't want to really feel it. I don't know, it's just one I trust. I'm really picky about lipsticks, especially when I go out with them. I think it's definitely my favourite shade. I do need it with a lip liner, but sometimes I can put it off without. Some people don't really like it because it's a very thin formula, but I think I like it because of that. It just doesn't feel so heavy on the lips, and it dries down really well. It doesn't feel sticky, and it does still cover my pigmentation on my lips, so I think it works really well for me. Another lip favourite of mine this year that I literally could not live without, like I couldn't live without, and some... Some people realise my chappy lips, chapped lips in my videos, but this stuff saves my lips and makes them look so plump. And it's the Wonder Kiss um, Lip Gloss. Wonder Kiss Lip Plumping Gloss by Wonder 2 Cosmetics. Wonder 2. Wonder 2 is the brand that makes the Wonder Brow products. But this stuff is the best lip plumping gloss I've ever tried. It's like an oil, it literally feels like an oil, it's not sticky. And I even made my sister try and she, like it, it just makes everything swell up and it actually plumps your lips, you know. And I just can't, I use this in a lot of my tutorials and it, it actually works. It does sting a little bit but not too much where it's too uncomfortable. Um, I've tried it a lot of lip plumping glosses and I actually really really like this one so I definitely recommend it. And then another lip product that I absolutely love, I had to include this one. This was one that I wore all year round and it's the Black Up. Um, uh, matte jumbo lip pencil and I think the shade is 22M look at the state of it guys out of all my lip colours I think the colour of this is my favourite colour but the formula isn't that great but the colour is so beautiful it just outruns everything else and that when you first apply the lipstick it looks perfect like the, it's like a matte velvet lipstick but then throughout the day it kind of fades, it fades out quickly. That's the thing that I don't really like about it, but I just reapply, reapply, reapply because I just can't go, get over the colour. So the next thing that I really, really have been loving lately is Bobbi Brown highlighters. So I got the Glow Stick in Island and the highlighter in Bronze Glow. And th these two are so beautiful. Like if you put this first and then top it on top with this, that is the stick it's just so so beautiful that right there is the powder but they are so so good i definitely recommend it to you guys you can tell i've used this one a lot i'm just really glad i have these because if i want like a really nice golden sun-kissed glow i just go for these two the next thing is a setting spray and this setting spray by glam glow this is the glow setter setting spray this is like the best misty cloudy makeup spray that I've used that smells so nice and does the job. I've loved it since I got it. I love the smell. I love the, the way it's like literally it's like a cloud of mist. But this does the job and I really really love it. I actually have another product from Glam Glow. Their um, Glow Starter Moisturisers are so good. Again, they have the same scent as the setting spray. It's just so good. The smell, the way it gives a nice glow to your skin. I My favourite shade is Sun Glow. It gives me a nice tan, um, kind of tan look. And it just is super hydrating and it's, it's so nice under makeup. And I like to top it off with my Fenty Beauty Primer. And I just love it so much, guys. Alright, guys. So now on to tools. My favourite brush that I can't live without is this baby right here. It's the MAC 135 brush. It's just so perfect for like bronzer and contouring, but I use it mostly to like bronze slash contour. Um, I actually, I think I got this from Desi Perkins, but it's honestly such a good brush. And yeah, I love it so much. And then I have realised that I can't live without this beauty blender. Um, I prefer the... <laughs> black one to the pink one I don't know why I feel like the black one is so much softer more spongier and so much easier to work with like I think the black one is so much better than the pink one and it's easier to wash as well funnily enough I, I have the pink one but I just I've just when I had the pink one I was missing the black one so so much 
Um, so yeah, I definitely will only be purchasing the black one. Alright, so now onto skincare. The, I only have two bits here. These are just products I feel like I can't live without and I just need to buy more of constantly. And um, the first one is the Body Shop Skin Defense. I can't live without SPF. And this one's the best one because it doesn't leave a white cast and it doesn't leave you so greasy and heavy like as if you're like clogging your skin. This one just sits really really nicely on the skin and it does the job and it's just really really good. And it actually says over time it evens out your skin tone so I really think this has been helping my skin as well. And then the next thing is all my little products from The Ordinary brand. These two... I don't want to drop them. These two are empty, like literally, there's nothing left. I think I've got some rosehip oil left. This is my Alpha Arbutin, which I definitely need to get some more of. And this is my peeling solution, which really helps with my pig, my skin texture. Um, lately, like a couple of days ago, I, I posted a picture on my Instagram, basically showing you guys my You could see my skin texture in the photo. And I was just saying that I'm just over skin smoothing, like, I'm not over it, like, there's no, I don't have a problem with people doing it, like, they can do whatever they want, but I just feel like it's really hard to relate to people when everything is so perfect, you know? I just feel like we need some realness, you know? Where's the realness? My skin's not smooth, I don't walk with Facetune. I feel like this stuff has been really helping me, I don't know why my skin just got so bumpy, like, all of a sudden, and I put this stuff on, and I, it actually really helped, like, it brought it down a bit. So I'm really happy with the peeling solution. It does sting like hell. Um, and these two are so good. Um, the Alpha Arbutin really helps with my pigmentation. I need to get more Ordinary products and do a video on it because I want to try so much stuff from them. Okay, guys, so now on to the last two beauty kind of body products. The first thing that I really have loved since I discovered it is the Origins No Offense Deodorant. Um, this is what this stuff looks like and it's just so good. Um, it's alcohol and aluminium free and I feel like this doesn't make my armpits feel itchy or irritated or dry or anything. Like It does a job, it don't make me smell and trust me, if I don't put deodorant, I smell like an Indian uncle. And also this stuff smells like, I don't know, peach. It smells so good. So yeah, I definitely recommend this deodorant. It's so good. It's, hi it's a high-end product, but it's so worth it. My, my armpits don't feel like they're all clogged up or anything like that. Also, my favourite toothpaste. I have to put this in there because I've, I've bought like, I think, 10 tubes of this this whole year. And it's the Sensodyne Repair and Protect. It has to be repair, you know, because my teeth are terrible. I buy the whitening repair and protect version and this really helps the sensitivity in my teeth like I don't feel so sensitive when I eat stuff and breathe because sometimes when I breathe my my teeth get really sensitive um, and it's just been really helpful like especially when I was going through a phase where my teeth hurt so bad this really really helped and when I don't when I stop using it like when I go onto a different toothpaste like my teeth hurt like literally okay so that's everything like physical you know um, all my beauty and body favourites. Hello video. He's wearing sunglasses indoors. What the hell is going on today? <laughs> okay, so now on to like series and movies. So one is Hacksaw Ridge. Hacksaw Ridge is such a good film. Oh my god, it's it's got such a nice message behind it and it's based on a true story. I really love it. Honestly, I definitely recommend it. I also loved Planet War of the Planet of the Eight. That made me laugh. And I followed it, I followed every film, like, I love Planet of the Apes movies, anything with the animals really. Um, surprisingly, one that I saw recently that made, it was the film that made me laugh the most and it was Jumanji. Everyone underestimates it but, like everyone literally around me said oh it's going to be a shit movie and stuff but when I went in I couldn't stop laughing and everyone was laughing in the film, in the cinema so. If you want a good laugh, I definitely recommend that film. I really, really did like Get Out. That was a surprise one. Um, that was a good one. What else? What else did I like? Thor was good. I didn't watch that. It's a good one. This? Mm. Hello. <laughs> my sister's made the decision to make her channel using my camera. She's gonna do travel vlogs, guys. Travel vlogs! I think that'll be a big part of mine as well. Yeah, she travels a lot. She travels more than me. Okay, chop, chop. 
What's my been my favorite movies of this year? Hacks Origin. <laughs> That's what I said. That was my first one. So I can't think of any more movies, like literally. So, but I will write some in the info box when they come to my mind, you know. And then um, for TV shows, my favorite were um, definitely How to Get Away with Murder. This wasn't this year, but I. I think the new season came out this year and it's actually in the middle right now. It's getting so good, but they're making me wait a month. They're trying to make me suffer, but that's okay. I'm strong. 13 reasons! What? That was the show I told everyone you need to watch it. That one touched my heart, my inner soul. Um, Black Mirror is quite good, actually. I really like Black Mirror. It's messed up, but it keeps my attention going, my mind going. And I think that's all for TV shows. Power. Power! Oh my god. <laughs> my sister's literally telling me all of them, I can't remember them, but Power's really good. Power, but some of my actual favourites is like Grey's Anatomy. Stranger Things. Stranger Things. Damn, luckily we're here. <laughs> There's a lot of Netflix ones. I love Netflix. Just download Netflix, okay? But anyways, I think that's it guys. And oh, do you know who's my our favourite artist at the moment? It's Demi Lovato. Okay, I say it all the time. I love Demi Lovato. If you don't listen to her, you need to. Cardi B is good. And do you know what I really like about Cardi B? She's just so genuine and real, isn't she? She's just so genuine. The other day she was talking about farting. Like, how can you get, how can you not get more real than that? I just know, I really like her and I love her personality, but her music's really good as well. I feel like I'm so excited today. She asked me if I was drunk. I don't drink, guys. What? Did you hear that? You don't drink. You I don't. don't. What happened on New Year's? Yeah, yeah. but that was New Year's on such a special occasion. I didn't like it. But anyways, I was just very happy today and I was just screaming and stuff. And my sister's like, are you drunk? Hello, can you be more positive? <laughs> anyways, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I have to go edit it and make sure it goes up today. It's a bit late. I don't even know what time it is. Actually, I want to say that another favourite of mine is she. Happy New guys. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> but anyways, I just want to say thank you for being part of this journey with me. And I don't know what's going to come this year, but I hope it's going to be full of big things. And yeah, I'm just going to keep making fun videos and creative videos for you guys. I feel like I've been all over the place in this video, but that's okay. Um, I love you guys so much. And I was... Sorry. <laughs> Breaking bad. <laughs> She just ruined my moment there, guys, but I love you, and I'll see you next time. Okay? Bye.